Are you ready to get started, everyone? Allora, eccoci. So, well, good afternoon, everyone. We have just finished uh, working on this G20 meeting. It's been a very fruitful experience where we have interchanged uh, opinions with other G20 leaders and other representatives of the international um, world uh, talking about things that we all care uh, about and which will help design the future of our countries and of our societies. I wish to thank Argentina and President Macri, because he has been an excellent host. He has been excellent not just because of how this was organized and how efficiently the G20 has uh, been organized, but also thanks uh, to the contents it has uh, brought about, because he uh, put people in the forefront Front, and that is for sure an essential issue. And on the other hand, I'd like to say that it's been six months that I've been in office. Uh, it's the beginning of my experience in government, in the administration. It's six months since we have already started to put people in the forefront. There have been other interesting issues, circular economy, sustainable sustainable development, inclusive growth, technological innovation in particular in uh, the labor world. We are moving forward to a, towards a period where work will be absolutely uh, at the forefront. Technical innovation is, must be a part of our national policies and our system. We need to promote training systems educational systems that will contribute to the creation of new professions. And these and other topics have been considered during our meeting. And, of course, you, uh, you can pose your questions now, but these are, uh, by way of an example, of the things we have talked about, my information for you. We have agreed with uh, the the Indian president, President Modi, to exchange our uh, respective presidencies. Uh, uh, in 2021, uh, we will chair the G20 meeting uh, in exchange with the 2022, because India will celebrate its 75th anniversary of its independence. And so uh, Premier Modi uh, was keen on celebrating this anniversary and making it coincide with G20 and his presidency. And now, up to you, the questions. Uh, she's asking about maneuvering. The mic is not loud enough. Uh, you are talking of risk, recession, and danger uh, regarding employment and jobs. Can you comment? Uh, the urgency has to do with Confindustria and the urgency that uh, has been uh, discussed three, four months ago. We have assessed and analyzed responsibly trade flows, the growth of the GDP, and other elements that are fundamental in an economic system. And we have realized that we were moving towards a process of stagnation rather than growth and recession. And uh, the reason why uh, we talked uh, 
among ourselves, ministers, uh, in order to bring uh, our economic values uh, to the forefront, because we are responsible. We have understood, if you allow me, uh, we have understood before others that this is the economic agenda that's good for the country, because we must grow. And this is why we have worked on that topic. And it's because of this that, uh, although we are in uh, difficulties, we are defending this, because we are now realizing that there's a justification for this, that there's enough grounds for this. And this is why we defend this approach. Today, uh, you met with Prince Bin Salman, and uh, he obtained um, security or, or affirmation on Khashoggi's case. Uh, Bin Salman's, yes, I met him today, and I expressed the concern of my government, the preoccupation of my government as a Republic of Italy, and also the concern of the international community um, that uh, transparency on solving the case is essential. It is unheard of. It's very serious, and we wish that uh, as soon as it is possible and feasible, the facts will be established. Whoever is a culprit will be identified uh, without any reasonable doubt. And we offered our collaboration um, for Turkish and Saudi authorities. This, this process, of course, uh, uh, we offered uh, the presence of one of our experts to contribute to certify transparency and thoroughness in ascertaining facts. Uh, Prince, on his uh, side, uh, reassured me that he is going, he's very committed to clarifying this, uh, to casting light on the whole affair thoroughly. And he said he was going to share uh, continuous, uh, continuously uh, information through our diplomatic channels in an updated fashion. Good afternoon, President. I'd like to ask you a couple of things. Um, uh, the, you have sustained different meetings uh, with the Ministry of Economy, with the summit uh, authorities of the European Committee. Uh, these meetings uh, have been, I'm sure, uh, very effective and fruitful. You have made uh, steps forward. Uh, you have talked about outcomes, and I'd like to hear uh, what those outcomes you think uh, will be in the future. I do, I'm not very talkative, uh, um, and I prefer to be, um, I prefer reserve uh, in connection with our conversations because until we don't have a final solution shared by the government, it makes no sense to share with all of you uh, what these conversations have been. Obviously, every conversation implies a step forward. We have talked to Minister uh, Tria and to President Juncker uh, and other technical staff. We are working on this within a more general framework. Uh, we need to define a policy in order to identify advantages, in order to pre identify solutions. Of course, we are uh, not discussing technical detail, details, but yes, we have talked about the general framework or configuration towards a final solution. Our technical people are still working day in, day out, and they will go on doing the same for the rest of the week. And we uh, trust that in the coming days, we will be able to mention some kind of a technical. What? 
Good afternoon, President. Always about the manoeuvre in Italy that doesn't work for Italy or Europe, this perspective. So our country would be penalized, but why is it not convenient for Europe to make uh, an inf infringement procedure to Italy? Well, I will tell you very quickly. It is not convenient to, for Italy because Italy is not against Europe. We are not against Europe. We are part of a European order that is not based on nationalities, and we are one of the founding countries of this order. At the same time, it is not convenient for Europe because in the measure as Europe is not only the European Union, it is not different to Italy. We are on the same boat, and when you are on the same boat, you want to get to safety. We want to get to a firm land, to the land of safety with everyone who is on board. Good afternoon, President. I would like to make a question about the Vortex and waiting for the results. You talked about some positive results, but the fact is that the word protectionism has been quoted. I wanted to ask if about this fact, the joint agreement in terms of commerce and also listening to your answer to the first question, I have another question. Uh, please be patient if I'm asking two questions. My question is that you said first that you took into account even everyone who are every possible forecast. So the question is that the forecast is quite positive, rather different than other estimations that are being shared at the international level. And the last data that has been released differs from those forecasts. So will this help reach this growth? About your last question, see that our forecast of growth are forecasts that are rational, that are not made randomly, as the minister declared, and it has been shocking for some environments, even European ones. That's the reason why we, in this solution that we are working for to reach a joint solution with the European Commission, we are strengthening the forecast of growth with some emissions that will help to make even more solid this part of our maneuver. So I want to remind you also that my colleague, as uh, said, your colleague that asked first, it would be very easy for us to conceive an economic maneuver in light of the inheritance of the different projects, increasing the uh, VAT, for instance. So when we are sitting around the table to work together, to uh, designed this maneuver, they found an estimation of 12,000 millions or 12 and a half millions. And the fact that not increasing the VAT, this uh, made it to not increase this economic burden is uh, also looking at uh, the, looking after the growth of the country, that it can leave this recession spiral. And also there is an argument about the protectionism. And I would say that for the final documents, the discussions that were held, we have reached a good agreement, a commitment that refers to international trade. And we have to raise awareness about this fact. We also have reached positions, countries that have found a final synth synthesis that is good and it's shared. We didn't reach the perspective of a really efficient multilateralism. Italia has always been a promoter of multilateralism, but at the same time we can see that international trade 
is necessary and it is necessary to reform the WTO systems that it's very old, it needs to be updated, its rules of functioning need to be updated, and of course we have to get together and work in this direction. I'm sorry, I'm going to I'm gonna act, uh, ask about facts. I wanted to, when you talked about Angela Merkel, about this maneuver, what did she say? Well, the Chancellor Merkel, we had the, we didn't have much chance to talk because she arrived uh, last night uh, because she had the inconvenience with the air transfer. We only exchange a few words quickly in a very calm environment. I would say that in all the encounters, all the meetings and, and the exchanges that I had during this summit, uh, this G20 summit, I have always received one of the most calm and cordial words. I have to recognize the, her success and our common prerogatives, our personal prerogatives, the national prerogatives of the government, and also the prerogatives of the Commission. So I have to acknowledge that the final solution should be a final but shared solution that everyone agrees on. President, uh, good uh, good afternoon, Mr. President. After the summit meeting here in Buenos Aires, uh, are you closer or, or farther away from an agreement between the European Union and Mercosur? The question regards an agreement between the EU and Mercosur. We have talked about this topic in the bilateral meeting with President Macri. Uh, Italy has an agreement, is the host of an agreement between both um, uh, areas, and we have promoted this uh, agreement. However, there are some aspects uh, uh, that the Italian government, of which the Italian government is, is a carrier, President Macri uh, uh, cares a lot about geographic uh, denominations. Our country, in particular in agriculture, has uh, quality trade names, and we would like these products to be recognized, uh, the quality of our products be recognized. And uh, from this uh, perspective, I have asked President Macri to uh, pay attention to this uh, in, in, in Mercosur, in all of Latin America, because uh, otherwise agreements uh, are not uh, are not um, do not bring equality between both uh, regions. There's a, the geometry is not right. Um, regarding the uh, security and safety decree, have you talked about uh, this uh, issue with President Trump about Im immigration? And uh, are you? going to talk about uh, frontiers uh, uh, and the southern frontier of the United States. Yes, we had the opportunity of talking uh, to President uh, Trump. His wife was there with him, and he's always very generous in connection with myself and now my government regarding immigration policies. He wanted uh, me to uh, remind his wife, Melania, uh, about what are the pieces of information that have to do with the efficacy of our immigration pro, uh, policy. Uh, obviously, there is some commonality with the American government regarding uh, irregular or um, illegal immigration. Italy has a strategy, has had a policy, and a strategy that's much better articulated right now vis-a-vis -vis the past. Um, 
because uh, and, uh, a, a growth of the immigration without really being careful about it has created flows of uh, immigrants and uh, the, the fight is to contrast irregular uh, immigration and also again, we are against human trafficking. If we do this, we will uh, be able to protect human rights in a much more effective way. President, from Bloomberg News. Uh, given the tensions within the government coalition, how long do you expect the administration to last uh, until May's European Parliament elections? Thank you. La domanda è sulla tenuta della maggioranza, non sulle tensioni interne al, alle due forze che so, mio Le, the two forces that support my semplice. government, uh, yes, there is cohesion Entrambe there, much cohesion, uh, leader both uh, leaders of both forces and the ministers that are part of the Consiglio of Ministers, the Council, uh, are going to be working on this. We are a government of or an administration for change. We have, we have already adopted uh, uh, reforms with the outlook of investing uh, both materially and immaterially on infrastructure. We have reforms that are changing the face of our country. We have political objectives or goals to attain. There's uh, quite a few to be met still, uh, but uh, there is a, a lot of cohesion in what we are doing uh, in connection with attaining this goal. President. No, I want to ask you if I'd like to ask you, uh, in connection compact, with the majority and the global compact, uh, what is your opinion regarding the hypothesis of approving this uh, uh, in connection with what the Democratic uh, Party uh, thinks. The position of Italy regarding the Global Compact on Immigration has been discussed with other leaders, but uh, it has been myself who has brought it up. The General, the Secretary General of the UN uh, has had from me a diplomatic piece of information in order to um, to foster discussions. Other countries like Switzerland, for example, have adopted the solution. So, as I have said before, I think it would be more correct regarding a, a topic the, uh, about which uh, the Italian public and citizens, the public opinion in Italy is very passionate about, uh, and we have seen it these days. So, for me, it is very uh, much uh, it's it's, it's the right thing to have a debate, a discussion, because our citizens are asking for that. They want the discussion to take place on this topic. And so, to me, the easiest, more transparent solution, more linear solution would be debating in Parliament. Uh, I have already uh, told them that I have not changed my idea. The reason why I have uh, talked to the UN about my faith favorable position regarding uh, the Global Compact has not changed. It's a very long text, very well articulated, but I would like to mention that uh, the English investment, I, I'm not sure if it is in Italian, it's, it's only in English, but anyway, the discussion that we have opened uh, may proceed uh, towards an informed consent. There, there is, that is to say that every Everybody who is involved will be knowledgeable uh, or converse, conversant on the contents. My position, I have uh, already said, I am not going to change it. Uh, it's it's a 
not just one document, there are several documents that I think are absolutely compatible with the synergies that uh, uh, are the goal. Because I think that individual countries, uh, it's, it's impossible to have individual country policies articulate with one another. There are many policies that are quite severe, quite restrictive even. So I have read other some men's messages that talk about uh, a little bit, they are a little bit alarmed about this document, uh, um, thinking that immigrants uh, that are irregular may enter Italy. This is not, not what I mean. Uh, I do not want to uh, um, speak uh, before the whole discussion takes place. But the, uh, the idea would be basically this. But I forget the second part of your question. What was it? I'd like to say that I don't think of who's going to be side by side with me or who is not, but the, because the most important thing is to translate it uh, and have it translated and analyzed. Regarding our, Argentina, does Italy, is it uh, favorable to... Uh, the OECD um, uh, and Argentina entering the OECD. I have seen, we have talked about this with President Mark Macri. Uh, it is a topic that is of interest, and so we will try to offer our support for this solution with the OECD and Argentina. Thank you very much for your questions.